gonna do a reaction video, but this is gonna be Derek's reaction. I haven't done one of these yet. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, I've already seen these Mass Effect videos that they're putting out for Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, there's, I think they're up to three now of like this gameplay series. Uh, I, I don't know if I've seen any of the gameplay at all, just like a couple of early trailers. Yeah, well this first one is over like the combat and skill system. Uh -huh. Second one, uh, you know, I can't remember. I know, the first one I know is mainly combat. Maybe the second one I think focused more on characters and skills. Okay. And then the third one from last week focused on uh, the explore, bleh, exploration. So, oh, okay. But this is the combat one. Uh, I've already seen these, so uh, this is all about Derek watching them. He hasn't seen these yet, so uh, we will go <laughs> ahead and... Reaction. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get these started in three, two, one. That's a pretty neat Welcome thing. to the Mass Effect Andromeda gameplay series. In Mass Effect Andromeda, you are the Pathfinder, the ultimate adventurer in a vast, unexplored galaxy on a mission to find a new home for humanity. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? Our first video will take a look <laughs> at weapons and skills. Whoa, that's a... Andromeda's action is built around fluid, fast-paced, third-person combat. Yeah, this thing's combat offers like fast-paced. Maybe nothing so like that in the... Uh, maybe in Mass Effect 3 had a little bit more action scenes like this. Nothing like this. new dynamic no. cover system that allows you to seamlessly yeah, use neat. almost anything, including your own vehicle, for cover. See the dynamic cover system. All this freedom allows you to approach the battle in a way that suits your gameplay style. Let's take a closer look at our weapons. In Mass Effect Andromeda, there are four categories of guns. Pistols shotguns, and sniper and assault rifles, plus a range of melee weapons for up-close combat. Sweet. All guns are available to every player. There are no class restrictions, so that's if you decide you want to try something oh, that's new, really cool. it's as easy as switching your loadout. I remember in some guns of the old, or earlier games, it was like tedious types, trying to figure out from. what you wanted and weapons typically use physical projectile ammunition that's similar to the types of weapons you might be familiar with from our original games, with some advancements, of course. These are high-impact projectile-based guns. They're great against most non-shielded targets, but require you to keep an eye on your ammo. Ramming weapons typically use beams, have a high rate of fire, and are extremely accurate. That's a cool looking gun. Use the overheat system and don't rely on ammo. <laughs> yeah, these overheat. So you'll never run out so of ammo. Don't worry about ammo on these types of guns. Like a, from time to time. I, I see hints of Halo in this game. Helios weapons are technology from civilizations that live in the Helios cluster of Andromeda. They're generally plasma-based, which means they're slower speed, but benefit from basic kind of, technology. They're kind of mixing. Yeah, they're kind of mixing well, Mass Effect like based, one the yeah. with like the overheat system, system with yeah, some yeah. guns. It takes really good yeah, aspects of damage and you know, earlier games and even some other really good games damage. and puts them in this one. The lightning fast yeah. shivs or swords allow you to get in and out of harm's way with maximum speed and precision. In addition to Took weapons, you can also develop like... skills and abilities. Yeah. <laughs> like the weapons, there are no restrictions on what skills you can choose. See, I like Each this. of the three main categories is designed to facilitate a certain style of play. Combat skills are great if you want to focus on weapons, gear, and making your character the ultimate soldier. So you don't have to be solely soldier. Weapon damage oh, yeah, like you had to Yeah, because that, that made you really limited to what you could do. Names. I remember that. You can pretty much play Fitmines all three of the more. ways if you yeah. like. Tech skills allow you to equip your Pathfinder with more experimental weaponry, or focus on strategic improvements for you and your squad. Cryo Beam and Flamethrower give you more offensive punch, while skills like Invasion or Energy Drain weaken your opponents and make them easier to take down. Want a little extra help? A lot Deploy of different enemies. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, Biotics. By controlling dark energy from Pathfinder can harness the power of mass <laughs> and gravity. <laughs> Biotic skills like pull and throw allow you to literally control the battlefield, using your enemies as a shield or even a weapon. Notice the abilities like an map like radar thing is can disrupt and damage the top now instead of a little yeah. one caught up in their it's almost kind of reminds me like the fallout. Yeah. Each skill can map. be upgraded to become increasingly more devastating and effective. Each also has choices to make when upgrading. Offering you more ways I'm not talking much. Style. I'm kind of taking it all in right now. <laughs> yeah, we've got the basics down. Let's put this into action. Graphics look really good, though. In this case, oh, yeah. I mean, this is, and this is full of gameplay. And a shotgun. Mm -hmm. You've got their three powers selected. You'll notice that different enemies each okay. behave in unique ways. Some will keep their distance Shit, and try to yeah. snipe us. Others will charge right in and try to flush us out of cover. So this is just Sticky grenades is an advanced version of the Omni-Grenade no, combat is... skill. 
dumped it from the regular game. This is multiplayer? They have a this is, oh, these are just character. Oh, okay. Yeah, those Enemies are your squad mates. This is like a mission in the game. For most oh, headshots okay. inflict maximum damage, but you'll need to pay attention to the health bars. Yellow means they've got armor and won't be as susceptible to certain weapons and powers. Blue means they're shielded, and in addition to being more resistant to biotics, you'll generally need to deal with those There's shields. There's a lot going on, down. that's for sure. Yeah. And just like you, still more fast paced. Yeah, you don't finish them off quickly. You didn't have much time to think Tactical about it. Tactical Cloak is a tech skill that allows you to evade enemy detection and inflict increased damage when attacking from Cloak. And finally, Overload. Another tech skill that's great for taking out enemy shields and synthetic enemies. Oh, By holding it before releasing, you can even chain it to multiple enemies. And this is just one of the hundreds of combinations of weapons and skills you can try in Andromeda. Stay tuned for future installments where we'll show you our profiles to give yeah, you an added boost in combat. Show this. Favorites yeah. which allow you immediate okay. access to your sets of power so you can awesome. change up on the fly. And squad skills and commands. jumping and slamming the ground yeah it's all almost time man we've only got like two weeks yeah it two is weeks yeah, from it really tuesday is. that's that's crazy comes out on the 21st and tuesday is the 7th that's crazy it's almost i can't believe it's almost time <laughs> i know so uh what are your thoughts on that yeah, i, I really combat? like the gameplay like you said it's a, there's a lot going on and mm -hmm. it's a lot more fast paced than any other mass effect game yeah it, it, it's kind of cool because the first one I first played it, it took me a while to get into it because it was kind of slow. Mm -hmm. it, was a, you know, it took a lot to, you know, there's a lot of just walking around in the space station and stuff like that. Yeah. But this is, you know, full on action, which for some people they might not like that. I mean, how what, how do you feel about the full on action? Uh, I mean, I think it works. Uh, I've watched I've watched some videos and you know people have been able to play this now like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like IGN, Game Informer, like all these different gaming outlets have had the chance to actually play a significant amount of the game. Mm -hmm. And from what I've heard, it all just works. Like, yeah, it is definitely a lot more fast paced, the combat. Um, like having that little like jump jet thing where you can, you know, hover up in the air for a minute while you're attacking. Yeah, or, that's cool. Or you can, you know, jump to the left and the right. Uh, but they said that like th that mixed in with just the way the fast paced gameplay is, like it all just just works. That's you know? cool. Yeah, they've thought about it then. Yeah, so I I think it's going to be great. I mean, it, from what I've heard, it, it definitely does feel different. Mm -hmm. Doesn't I mean some aspects obviously feel like Mass Effect, but I guess there's a lot of parts of the game where it definitely feels like a different game. Well, yeah, the, the more I when I first saw it, I'm like, this doesn't even look like Mass Effect. It looks almost like a mixture of Halo, Gears of War, and like. Uh, Call of Duty, like a modern Call of Duty game. But, but then whenever they get, went into the, like the menu thing, there's mm -hmm. so much of the yeah. customization RPG elements. So oh, yeah. They're really like... It's definitely an RPG. It's not a. It's not just a sh yeah. shoot 'em up kind of game. That's what I mean. Like They're really appeasing to the fans of like Mass Effect 1 who loved all the mm -hmm. RPG stuff, and then fans of Mass Effect 2 who really loved like the story and the loyalty missions with mm -hmm. your characters, and then the fans of Mass Effect 3 that loved just the solid yeah, uh, they, combat. They almost tried that with... With Mass Effect Two, I remember a little mm. bit because it had a little bit of you know one in it, but it was a little bit more a little bit more action. And three was kind of was where they went away from a lot of the not much of the RPG. Yeah, no, it was really just a shoot, you know, almost a first person shooter. It was a third person, but yeah, just with a it was more like awesome Gears of War. Right? Yeah, so, Gears of War with a better storyline. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so this one definitely feels like they're taking all the best bits of mm -hmm. one, two, and three and putting them into one game. Yeah. But I can't wait. But uh, anyway. I guess that's it for this yeah, reaction. Pretty, pretty short one. Yeah. Good, good, good video. I liked it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, let us know in the comments below what you think. This video has been out for a little while, so I'm sure most of you have probably seen it. If mm -hmm. not, uh, we'll have the link down below. Uh, yeah. Give this video a like. Subscribe Thumbs to the up. channel. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.